When I think about building a culture of inclusion, I go right to relationships. I see that relationships um, are the foundation. Also, I think having um, a shared vision and really taking time to let the, that relationship and those, the vision grow over time um, and evolve. And continually looking back and reflecting upon um, my own experiences and having opportunities to talk with my partners about their experiences before moving on. Creating a culture of inclusion isn't something that happens outside the community of special ed. It also happens within the community of special ed. And working with other people in the field, um, I realized that everybody within the field is at different levels also. So part of what we do is, um, is spread that idea of inclusion and make it something that we talk about so that people have an opportunity to work out for themselves what inclusion means and how um, and, and what it means to them as they work with families and with preschools in the community because um, a culture of inclusion is something that's contagious and it comes from within so you, if you help people build it from the inside out um, they're able to it's able to spread in the community shared beliefs so when Melinda talked earlier about shared beliefs I want to pick up on that a little bit because as I walked that journey with her obviously the relationships were the core the trust that we built but we also had to come together with ourselves and, and the staff members the families to build a, a base of shared beliefs. What were we committed to and why were we, were we committed to that? And we had to find some commonalities. And one of the common grounds that I think we found is we are here to serve individual children and meet them where they're at. And we could build on that, uh, whether a child is typically developing or um, atypically developing, we're meeting them where they're at. And we shared that belief, which allowed us to build. So you may be in a program where you are wondering where are those shared beliefs and, and how do we find them and one of the things that I think going back again to Melinda is the relationships, finding those allies, finding people who you do share some commonalities with and building on those and bringing the energy together to then communicate that message because I may be able to communicate it effectively to someone, Melinda may be able to be heard from to someone else and a family member or a parent may reach someone else so it's coming together with that shared message and that shared belief to build a community of allies in a, a committed community.